Well, hello guys, my name is Nick from Nick's Toy Garage, and today we are doing a Majorette, and not any Majorette, it's the Aka Diane, or however you pronounce it, from Citroen. I really love this car, I love old Citroëns, I really love the the Deuxchevaux, the 2CV, and one day I will, well, not own one, but just restore one on this YouTube channel, because, well, I really can't afford a real one. They are shooting up in value lately, well lately, since you know what happened uh, almost a year and a half ago. And they're just, well, I'm a poor man. All my money is in this YouTube channel, obviously. You can see it with the high quality action mat from 1 euro underneath it. So, as you can see, the paint is missing. I think this is an X uh, post van because there is a letter on the side. Which I love, I cannot rep- I, If you have a way to reproduce these stickers and uh, decals, let me know in the comment section down below how I will go about this. Remember, I am, well, the cheapest person alive, so I cannot really um, afford uh, uh, something expensive, obviously. With these majorettes, I love the rivets, just one rivet in the front, drilling them out and just they literally pop open. The base comes out, the mushroom spring is also amazing, just two taps and the axles just fall out. The interior comes out and the doors are actually been held in by the floor and by the glass, which is pretty nice. As you can see, this is my favorite set of F restoration, it's a sand blasting cabinet. This one was a little bit more tricky because it has a lot of grooves, a lot of rivets in the back portion of the Akkadian or however you pronounce it. So I had to hit it from every side and then still a lot of paint was still left on so I used my dental pick afterwards to clean it up. Also I have a slight little goal which I'm probably not going to uh, hit. I really want to hit 3000 subscribers this year, I'm at 2968 I think. So it is possible, but probably is not. I really want to hit it by my birthday, that's December 7th, so everybody please uh, take a notepad and just uh, place it in your agenda. Uh, December 7th is my 25th birthday, so if I can have 3 times subscriber then would be amazing, but probably, well, I hope this year. Meanwhile, I'm done with sandblasting and tooth picking, not tooth picking, dental picking. Someone actually suggested I would, uh, would name it Dave the Dental Pick, which is a pretty good name. But, however, I primer the car up, two coats in total, leaving between five minutes for the first coat and a day for the second coat to dry out. I'm using Tamiya Fine Surface Primer in grey. And for color, I'm using a yellow by Tamiya, doing three coats in total. Uh, this point, well, my mole almost fell. Uh, this was my reaction. Ugh! I hope that that wasn't too loud. But that was my reaction because I really thought this was going to fall on the ground, well, on the cardboard, and ruin my paint job. But it didn't, luckily. Doing three coats in total, leaving five to ten minutes for the first two coats and a day to harden out the final coat. Then it's time for the fine details on the model itself. I do the real lights. One on the left, one on the right, obviously. After that, I do the uh, blinkers. Well, they were. Well, it's, it's a little bit strange. There are real lights on top and the bottom. I'm not too sure. Then I do the blinkers in orange, and I forget to do the front blinkers because I'm I'm not that smart. Next, I take a new toothpick, take my white paint, and just paint in the headlights. And then take my black marker and paint in the door handle because. I don't think an, uh, an old Citroën from this, well, it, it, it was a kind of um, uh, car for everybody, not, not, a, not an expensive car, so I don't think this thing deserves, well, uh, chrome door handles wouldn't really suit this thing. Oh well, time for um, the clear coat, so the paint is protected. Meanwhile, when that is drying, I take my hot soapy water, my toothbrush, which I use every day because I have sparkly teeth. Probably because of all the metal shaving, I just brush with this thing and just brush the interior and the rear doors because the rear doors are ready for a coat of primer. This is a plastic and metal primer, so that's why I can uh, primer up my rear doors because I really want them in the same color as the model itself. Next, I take my black uh, Sharpie and paint in the front grille in black. And at this point, I discovered something amazing the actual, there's a little hole. 
right but right below the Citroen logo I think that's where the hand cranking was so it's a really detailed model I really love details like this then I take my chrome liquid marker because well the Citroen logo deserves to be chrome because it's a logo next it's time to uh, clean the wheels tires and axle because they are quite disgusting full of dirt from I think this car is about 50 years old for 50 years of playing in a sandbag a sandbag a sand pit and when that's all set and done, I take my chrome liquid marker again and chrome the wheels. Because yeah, I don't want to chrome my uh, my door handles, but I do want to chrome my rims. Priorities, obviously. Every car needs chrome rims. It's, it's the baller thing to do. Next, when that's all set and done, I uh, show every single part I just finished. Also, off camera, I painted the um, door thingamajig in blue I was going to say yellow and painted in the rear number plate just notice I didn't really show that on camera that's strange oh well next it's time for the final reassembly I take my base plate I take my rear not my rear my um, wheels axles and tires and snap in the spring again next let's put that to the side take my model take the glass which I give a light polish off camera I need to really order some of that, that um, uh, polishing paste that thing will probably look a lot better and this is the placing the doors back in the car saga uh, I will narrate what the worker Nick is saying right now so uh, first I'm gonna try it like this just gonna try to um, finesse them into place just like the nope maybe I need to try it like this nope this was uh, the part where I was going to scream at my mommy, I was crying, I was um, calling my mother to uh, comfort me. So next I uh, will place the doors in for the third time. Just praying they would stay in place. Put in the uh, rear, not the rear, the uh, interior which held the door in place. And then snap the base plate back into place. And one final detail, it's the front blinkers. And on the back the rear uh, door handles. So this is the car before the restoration, it was nice, well not really white, it was a post fan, it was yellow with white doors and the paint was just horrible, and well, I didn't like it a lot. It had a nice work and this is the car after the restoration in 5, 4, 3, 2, one right here so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe if you know if you know how to make decals please let me know in the comment section down below also don't forget to check out my other videos and obviously a special thanks to every single one of my patrons bye